everybody, it's your friend Harry Flynn. And first, I want you guys to make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Check out more content of mine. So I love you guys all the best. You guys are my hair maniacs, brother. And today, we I'm here to book. See if my stomping ground is better than WWE stomping ground. Hmm. But problem with this, your stomping ground. WWE is doing. Name one match that is not did not happen this year. You can't. Because we're getting McIntyre and Roman again. We're getting Dolph versus Igor, which I will give it credit as a different stipulation. Uh, then, but I would actually, uh, I'll tell you about the main match, but, but um, so Alexa versus Bailey happened in the Raw after Mania, Lacey versus Becky happened at Mayan Bank, and the rest happened at the Saudi Showdown, Super Showdown. Sorry, I found So, we started off with the kickoff. With the kickoff, it will be uh, because Chad Gable is trying to go through Bob Roode's faction because next month they have a War Games match because they, they announced that Super Showdown, which you missed it. Go check out my Super Showdown video. And uh, I would do Chad Gable... Versus Eric Young, which I think, which I think it could be really cool. To see that, then have I would honestly have Gable win, keep his momentum up. Then the twenty four seven championship match is the main event of the kickoff. It will be champion Luke Carper. Versus Lars Sullivan. Which I think this could be a good match. Give we 10 minutes and like they both knock each other out. Then then you see uh Drake Maverick come in, come with referee, and he like pins with Carper one, two, three, and he's like running he's running out of the ring to the backstage area, which the story will continue on later. Okay, on to the main show. It will be Daniel Bryan versus Eric Rowan versus Heavy Machinery versus The New Day, which is Xavier Woods and Big E versus Rusev and Shinsuke Nakamura for the Tag Team Championships, the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, which I think this could be a good match, but I'll give it to... I give it to the New Day because they. I, cause I'll give it to the New Day actually because this could be a really good match and like it, we can see all the New Day with gold. You just have that moment, then like you can kind of feel like a T. So I'll tell you about about it later. But I think like some spots we'll see like the Black Wade for sure, and we see like. Just give me five minutes of Daniel Bryan versus Shinsuke, please, in that match. If you're never going to get a singles match of it, just give me that, please. Okay. So we go backstage. Drake Maverick is just, like, running, and he just finds a, finds a woman's bathroom, and he goes, hides in there. He's, like, hiding, like, on the toilet seat, but not... But not like you can't see his feet, but his feet is on the toilet seat, which is funny. Okay, then it's a SmackDown Live Women's title match Bailey versus Carmella, which I, I think this could be a really good match. And because you know, they have history. Together because Bay Mella, that's what they called each other because they used to ride the road together in NXT. And uh, yeah, and give this like 10 minutes. 
which I'll give the fair for it 20 minutes. You can give this like 10 or 12 minutes of one title match, and I would give it to Bailey to retain. Then, United States Championship match, which is, uh, which, uh, Samoa Joe is going to face Ricochet. And, uh, I'll give it to Ricochet. I'll give this a 15-minute match. And, like, she goes for Coquina Clutch, and he rolls them up. One, two, three. Ricochet wins. And Joe's Pito. So, yeah, this will be pretty good. Like, let's say Ricochet, he wins, like, a fatal five-way, like they're going to have on Raw tomorrow on Monday night. Then they went, then he goes on to win the title. And a good 15 minute match, like. Like the story is just going to be like. Like Ricochet doing quick, quick offense, high flying offense, trying to get Samoa Joe down. And so he can do his 630 splash. And like a cool spot would be like he does a 630 splash. Flash and he gets caught in Coquina Clutch. Then he rolls him up and does the finish. One, two, three. Ricochet is your new champ. So, now, next. It's a Raw Women's Championship match. It's Becky Lynch versus Nikki Cross versus Alexa Bliss. Now, the, the story will be so, so Becky said to Alexa, because she's going to have a moment of bliss, she's going to have, okay, so we're going to do Becky versus Alexa. And if you beat me, Alexa, you get your title shot at Thumping Ground. He goes, and she goes, no, my BFF, my new BFF. Nikki Cross will do it for me. Then, then she beats Becky. Then the McMahon says, "Fine, Alexa's is in the match, but Nikki Cross is also in the match." So there's a story could be in it. Like, is Nikki Cross gonna help Alexa win the title, or is she gonna win the title? I'll have that hitting on during the match. And, um, yeah, Becky wins. Becky wins by pinning Alexa Bliss. So, yeah, Becky wins. I'll give that 11 minutes. Intercontinental title match. I will do Finn Balor versus Buddy Murphy. And I think this could be a good match, really good match, and... Sorry, Adbert. And uh, the story is like he won a triple threat, the SmackDown after Saudi show, <laughs> and uh, he beat he beat uh, he beat Ali and Andrade, and uh, he won the title, defeated uh, then so like. So the, at the end of the match, this will be a pretty good match. Sorry, the, um, this will be a pretty good match, and uh, I will give the fin. But at near the end of the match, he, Murphy's gonna hit Murphy's wall and spin, and like one, two, one, two, and like Finn's arms on the rope. Three, then. Then the um, Murphy celebrating the Intercontinental title, and he's like, "Yes." Then referee is like, "No, no, no! I made a mistake. I, I got, I got to restart the match." He's like, "No, no, 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 no!" And he's like, "Tug on him for a minute," and like referee Rick Goods hits himself with the belt. He does the, he does this corner, corner, corner drop kick, boom, 
coup de gras, boom, one, two, three. And I would give it to Ben Bauer in a 16 minute match. This match, I'll give it 18 minutes. The Viking Raiders defending the Raw Tag Team Championship against Stu Sos. And because uh, they won the Norman Contendership and then. Number one contenders two out of three falls match at Super Showdown. And I would give it to the Viking Raiders. Like, the Usos will come close, but the Viking Raiders will by the end. Last man stand. Wait, before that, though. Like, because the Usos at the end of the match, the Usos need to come with a strategy to beat the Viking Raiders. So. Yeah, so. Next will be a last man standing match. Roman Reigns versus Drew McIntyre. I think this could be a good last man standing match. And I will give it to Drew on this one. Drew McIntyre. Then, because Ro Roman won a mania. And, and he can take a loss here. And so I'm going to give it to Drew McIntyre. He can. With the help of Shane McMahon and Miz runs off the chair. He checks on Roman. Like a few spots in the match are big. Roman like runs up and he does like over top rope dive. And he like pushes Drew into the table. Boom! Or spears them into the table. Like, Roman's staring at the end, and he's just, like, going to hit his spear, and that's all and we hear. Here comes the money! Money, 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 money. It comes out. That was all. And he hits a claymore just to end Roman. So, yeah. From, uh, Drew McIntyre wins. Next match is a Cruiserweight Championship match, a triple threat, which I hope they do at Stomping Ground. Okay. Uh, it will be Tony Nese versus Akira Tozawa versus Drew Gulak. And I think this could be really good, and I would give it to Tony Nese at the end of the day. And, uh, and Drew will come this close. This close to winning it. This close. And this could be a good, like, calm down match. Then next, we're going to have Miz versus Elias. And uh, I'll give this a good 10 minute match. And a good, decent 10 minute match, and uh, I'll give it to the Miz. You gotta build him up. And AJ, next one, AJ's still on his journey. He needs to beat all these, he needs to prove himself. He is a phenomenal one again. So it's AJ Styles versus Almighty Bobby Lashley. And AJ Styles wins in a pretty good match. Because if you get, like, I think you like, give them six minutes and they can do out their spots quick and boom, that'll be good. Okay, match 11 of the main cards, sorry. <laughs> uh, Universal Championship, Seth Rollins versus Sami Zayn. Then... So this will be really good because because uh, at the Raw before Super Showdown he wins the uh, armor contendership but he can't go because of origin so he's just complained that he never got a fair shot at the Universal Title Seth goes fine I'll stomp your head and I'll stomp your head in then this will be a good twenty. 
three-minute match, and I'd give it to Seth Rollins. Sammy will come this close to winning. This close. Next, then we go to the backstage. Like we see a, uh, we see like Alexa Bliss but gonna use the restroom. Then then she sees Drew Gulak and she goes, Drew Gulak, get out! Uh, Drew Gulak, Drake Maverick, Drake Maverick, Drake Maverick, get out of here! <laughs> basically beats the crap out of Drew Gulak with the help of Drew Gulak. Drake Maverick. With uh, Nikki Cross and throws Drake Maverick outside. Then, then he sees uh, Lars Sullivan and gives him Lars Sullivan gives him the freak accent. He grabs a ref, pins him one, two, three. Lars Sullivan is now the twenty four seven champion. Then the main event. Is a steel cage match for the WWE Championship, which is Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler, which they will be actually fighting in a singles match for the 29th time. Wow. More than Cena and Randy. So. Uh, I would give it to Kofi because. Because this would be kind of cool. Like, let's say KO and Sammy come out to help Dolph. Then um, then you see New Day help Kofina. Because they take a real beating in this match, Dolph and Kofi. Then then you see uh, Bobby Roode stable, some, like Samoa Joe and Eric Young come out. Because Drew... Uh, uh, Drag Maverick is her, so like you see, you see the fact, see his uh, faction come out because he wants to cash in after the match. His above pretty hurt, so so Kofi does his uh, trust fall from off the top of the cage, and he just lands on everyone. Boom, pen, and he wins. Then Bobby retrieves Kofi. Because he didn't get involved in it. He just threw Kofi in the cage. And, like, I want to see this, though. Like, Dolph just hits the floor right before, well, after, just right after Kofi wins. He's like, oh, this is close. And Bobby, he goes, raise up the cage. Come on, come on. And Kofi's all hurt. And he hits the glorious CDT. Bam! He goes, I'm cashing in! I'm cashing in! And suddenly we hear Gable's music. And he's running out. And Rude's just like running, running away, grabs the briefcase. I'm not cashing in! I'm not cashing in! And, and he goes, and so we run off with the New Day celebration, and Gable joins in. Yeah, so that is my stomping ground card. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love putting out content for you guys. I hope you guys watch it. I think there will be episode 114 out tomorrow, I think. So keep your eye out. You guys are keeping me... You guys are making me happy because I'm because uh, my dad passed away. And it's really hard on me for Father's Day. So I love you guys to death. You guys are my hair maniacs. Make sure you guys all subscribe. I want you guys to know. Love you guys.